Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of those moments, this is one of the days of this century which we would definitely cherish forever. Ladies and gentlemen, it all started with 111, it went up to 222, 333, and today is 11, 12, 13. And we're all lucky because we have witnessed this date, and this date was really a memorable one, will be a memorable one for the bridal couple, ladies and gentlemen, because they wanted to have this date to be in a wedlock. Sometime back when the church bell chimed, ladies and gentlemen, they were called as one. Good evening to each one of you. A very warm welcome to this lovely ambience, the little hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for all of us to share some special moments on this beautiful day in the life of Ramson and Melanie. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all gather together, put our smiles, lift up our prayers, and give a rousing welcome to the bridal couple. They are not knocking on the door, but they're going to walk amidst us soon arm to arm, heart to heart together for the very first time. And I'll have to ask each one of you, let us give our very best to this beautiful couple. They're going to have a memorable day. Let's start this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, for showering flowers, the petals of flowers rather, and welcoming Remsen and Melanie, ladies and gentlemen. This was the day that was absolutely meant for them. 11, 12, 13. Can I ask all of you all, ladies and gentlemen, to start this evening I need your presence over here. Can you please put your hands together and let's welcome the bridal couple. Making a smashing appearance as man and wife. Let's hear it. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen and Melanie and Rems and before I actually start this evening, I just share this little small joke there. Um, uh, he was not sure whether he wanted, whether it's okay to get married or it's not okay to get married. And he said, I think he's a philosopher, but in fact, he's a philosopher, Socrates, as well. And he said, sir, I'm going to go to the house. He said, I'm going to go to the house. Kind of like 50-50. So, what do you think about the house? And Socrates said, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Getting married is always a win-win situation. So, if you buy a new house, you're happy. And if you buy a new house, the philosophers are the law. So do get married, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, gentlemen should. We all should get married. That is what I want to say. Before we love to go ahead in the wedding reception, ladies and gentlemen, I love to say that Ramson has been really indebted to his uncle Josico. And I'm sure about it, it is a lot of hard work that Josico has done. And today Ramson is taking care of the Joshila caterers. I would love to ask all of you all before actually starting this evening. Let us all spend some moments in silence, ladies and gentlemen, and let's pray for the soul of the uncle of the groom, Joseph Fernandez. Let us all pray for him, spend some moments in silence. Thank you. Thanks for your silence and thanks for your prayers, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, everything that you see over here, ladies and gentlemen, has been set up on a Goan theme. The color is orange. Probably when you go to a beach, you definitely find a sunset. And that's what the color signifies. The flowers are decorated orange. Of course, we have this Goan set up, done beautifully from the palm trees. You all also will be getting a good taste of some Goan foods, but that's a little later, ladies and gentlemen. Everything tonight is Goan, including your presence, which is also Goan, ladies and gentlemen. Remsen and Melanie, give me those moments. Let me welcome and introduce your parents to all those people who are around this place. Uh, Jose Peter and Matilda Fernandez are the proud parents of Remsen. They are already there by his side, standing at the cake table. Matthew and Anna Fernandez are the beloved parents of the bride. I love to see that Revlin, who is the brother of the groom, has been missed more than more by the bride than the groom. I was told by Melanie that she's definitely missing Revlin today for the wedding. I'm sure he would have definitely been a helping hand today. Is that right, Melanie? And we also love to welcome Milifa, who is the sister of the bride too. I take this moment to welcome Alvin, who is a best man and a best friend of the bride and the groom. Uh, Milisha is the maid of honor. Uh, Mewson and Chrissy are together. Mario and Shweta are together. Well, I didn't get a chance to talk to Musen and Mario, but I know that Alvin is still single. And if there is a lady who loves to mingle, then two years from now, Melanie said, we love to see Alvin getting married. So, beautiful ladies, we have a handsome young man there waiting to get married. Here we go. The knife in your hand, Melanie. And the wife in your hand, Ramson. Okay, we do 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Comfortable? 
Okay, here we go. Five. Go! Congratulations. I'm tired of pressure. We want the world to know how happy it's going to be. Congratulations. I'm jubilation. We want the world to know how happy it's going to be. I'm sure there's a bigger piece of cake, good enough for both of you. Keep it in your lips, in between your lips, and let the melon actually snatch it from there. Yeah. Good. Very particular about our lipstick, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for the bridal couple sharing the sweetness of the married life. I love to call upon all of them, who's the best man and who's the best friend of the bridal couple. Although they started in the same school, but there was nothing that happened with Melanie and with Remsen for a long time. And is there somebody who can tell me, I have ended, I have something wrapped up with me, I call it a gift. It could be something, a Christmas surprise. Uh, I would love to ask the family members to excuse yourself from that. Close friends also, please excuse yourself from the answer. It's been how many years that they are in love? How many years Remsen and Melanie are in love, ladies and gentlemen? Nobody knows that. Family members, kind of, please excuse. I can hear something, but probably it's not clear. I heard somebody saying something there. I don't think Melanie is that old. Five years, no. Two is also wrong. Somebody said three. Three. Who's that? I can see somebody saying three, but the hand is going up there. Eleven. You said three, right? Okay, you got to catch me a little later. I have a gift to be given away, but right now I'm going to invite Alvin and pop up a bottle of champagne for this beautiful couple. Well, amongst all the bottle that he's popped off or he's uncocked, this is a special one and especially bought it for his friend, for his friends, Melanie and Remsen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Alvin, the best man, still single, ready to mingle. Wow. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as go on wedding reception calls us for a toast and of course the toast song here am I on behalf of Remsen and Melanie as they have requested me to propose a wedding toast to this beautiful couple and ladies and gentlemen this is what I had to write down for this beautiful couple well on the, on the very onset of this evening Remsen and Melanie I love to congratulate you for this beautiful day in your life I also love to take this moment and congratulate uh, Remsen's parents Melanie's parents also because we understand there is so much of love, so much of sacrifices that you have given for your son and your daughter. And it is because of that they are here today, wherever they are. Remsen and Melanie, I'm told that the toast can be for 30 minutes long. And when they told me propose a toast, they said like Sukur, let it be the shortest toast. So I'll cut off 10 minutes from them and I'll speak on the, 20, in the next 20 minutes. I'm going to speak on this occasion, Remsen and Melanie. A wise person told me, Magic happens at the most unexpected moment. I would have to disagree. Today has been planned for months and it is still filled with magic. Melanie always glows in the presence of Remsen. And I must accept that he too loves her company. The magic that makes them happy today is the love for each other that they have shared and the love that they're going to share in the future too. I, I probably got to share a bit of like how and all that. 
happened and how it's been those three years, how it all started. I was talking to Melanie and Rems and ladies and gentlemen, and I asked Melanie how did it happen, and she, she popped up and she said, uh, we have crockery which is being given on hire. And Remsen used to come and pick up the crockery for his catering. And one day when he picked up the crockery, he picked my heart too. And I had no reasons to ask it back from Remsen because I knew Remsen so very well. And this is how it all started. Anyway, they have grown in love for the last three years, ladies and gentlemen. I'll have to quote 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 to 6. They say, love is kind, love is patient, and it and love keeps no record of wrong. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, I love to speak a little bit about Remsen and Melanie on this beautiful day. Although I should have introduced you some time back, ladies and gentlemen, we all know Remsen is really grown up into a man today. I've seen him as a boy working so hard with the Joshila caterers, and he takes care of the Joshila caterers these days. I love to start off with you, Melanie. M many of us know that she's been a nurse, and she's worked for the Harshad Kamath Child Care Center. She's very humble, she is responsible, she's tolerant, she's thoughtful, and possesses a great amount of perseverance. Remsen has been an entrepreneur. He takes care, as we all know, that wherever we find Joshila caters, he, he's, he has a lot of hard work going into that. He's generous, he's gentle, he's obedient, he's kind, and he's very much committed. Whenever I meet him for weddings, I don't find him meeting. He said, let the people live. We'll see it afterwards. Uh, he's a pakka goer. He loves his son, Nasar Patel, and whenever he finds time, he loves to play a little bit of football. Uh, before I could end, no advices, no suggestion, but I love to end on this note. It's uh egg this we buy Laplia Gog Santa. Darling Twata Sarke chains, Satwata Sarko chains ala and go mutawe oy aquarastana was an aslo. Kazar Zatos to Venus Maka Sanglale, Chirwang Polenaka. Shazari Baila Lagi Ulenaka, Frienda Burin Bosun Sword Bieri Pianaka. Getting married is accepting each other the way we are. I hope you're going to do that in your married life. All the very best. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all lift up our glasses and drink to the health, happiness, and prosperity of this young and lovely couple, Remsen and Melanie. God bless you. I love to welcome Ivo, who just reached today. You know that? Okay. And he tells me it's been one and a half year that he was aware that he's going to sing the South song for this wedding. Here you are. I don't want you to try it right now. But as you went in the tunnel of love, I met Mario. You know Mario? <laughs> and I was talking to him and he said, Sukur, and Mario is telling me, Sukur, when I kiss my girlfriend, I can always judge the flavor of the lipstick. <laughs> but we'll try it a little later. Mario is a very experienced guy, I think. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we got to witness this beautiful moments when Malini and Rems are going to do the first dance in the married life. Please stand there, ladies and gentlemen, witness this moments. It's a beautiful day. Okay. It's a day filled with a lot of joy for the bridal couple. Your wife in your arms, listen. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Before I go home on behalf of the newlyweds, I'd love to thank each one of you for coming here, gracing this occasion, ladies and gentlemen, and giving your very best to the bridal couple. I have to say a big thank to all you lovely people gathered from far and wide. Uh, Remsen, Melanie, on behalf of you, I love to thank there were other people who were with me trying to give their very best and on the very first place I like to thank the Chiquito Art Center capturing the joyous moments of this day. 
Alan Sun, I have to thank you for doing this uh, wonderful setup. Uh, the ideas of Remsen has finally come through on this beautiful day. Uh, not forgetting Olivero Bar Services, the rising on the bandstand, and of course the caterers, Joshila, ladies and gentlemen. I have to thank uh, these two special guys, Alvin and um, Elvino. A big thank to you. Not forgetting uh, the staff of the entire catering down there of Joshila Caterers, the transport guys, the marketing guys, the cooks, the waiters, everyone down there. A big, big thank to you. Uh, Melanie and Remsen. Some stick with one and some stick with two. But I've just seen of late people have already gone to three. Now if you can go to four and break the tradition, just the way you broke it today. God bless you and make, make, make love and make babies too. Ladies and gentlemen, one last song specially dedicated to the bridal couple. But I love to have all of you all after the song. I need your presence, ladies and gentlemen. Not forgetting you, Ronnie, also stick around. We're going to tie the bridal couple in the ribbons too. Thank you.